The best day one defensive scheme in Madden 25. This is by far and away, I think, the most effective way to be playing defense. Now, we have a full breakdown of this defense and this full defensive ebook that optimizes this for you on our school community. The cool part about our school community is that it is going to continue to update throughout the year. So you're not going to just get this ebook, you'll get any ebook that we have for Madden or college football. And you will get all of the updates and day, pretty much daily at this point, pro tips where we're dropping conceptual knowledge that you need to know about the game. So if you want to get better at the game, I tried to make it a one-stop shop for both college football and Madden for just 10 bucks. You can sign up. It supports me a ton, allows me to be doing these videos. If you want to sign up for the school community, the link is in the description below. Now, we're in the Baltimore Ravens defense playbook. It doesn't have to be in the Baltimore Ravens defense playbook, but it's this play right here. It's Nickel Dog 3 Buzz. This play is so good and we're actually going to do something with this defense that is going to make this super simple for you we're going to base align it i personally really like base align um, this year i think baseline is much better than the coverage shell feature just kind of makes things simpler for you everybody's going to be where they're supposed to be we are going to leave auto flip on and i'm going to show you how we can play coverage and send pressure from this look this is nickel dog three buzz in the 245 double mug. One little tip I have for you is you want to sub in fast safeties at these two positions, and basically you're the fastest defensive lineman you can get at the defensive end positions, okay? Uh, nickel dog, three buzz. So how does this blitz work? This blitz is very simple. It really only requires one adjustment. All you're gonna do for the blitzing aspect of this is you are simply going to slant your D-line inside. Now. As you see here, we're not in a great alignment. We're really, you know, not in a super amazing alignment. So what I like to do is show blitz. The reason I like to show blitz is because it's going to bring the safeties into the box, which will help with your pass defense, okay? Uh, from there, you're just going to basically come down here and stand about right in here, and you can zone out or coverage out your defensive linemen. So we're going to coverage out these defensive linemen, and then we're going to... Uh, basically put this slot corner in a zone as well. And what you're going to see here is we are going to get that pressure. So super simple defense here. This is, uh, you know, very, very simple. Another thing that you can do as well as you can press uh, or pinch your defense and do this. But essentially the reason why we like this is because we're able to create very simple zone looks, but also we're able to get these four-man disengages. So you see here, this little four-man, we're gonna get an A-gap pressure right there. These are disengages. This blitz right now is the best way to get pressure in this game. So again, we're just pinching our defense. We're gonna show blitz, slant our D-line inside. And then from there, you wanna zone out the outside linebackers and the corner. And then you can kind of stand, you know, really wherever you want, honestly. It doesn't really, I don't think it really matters for the sudden four. So we're able to play very balanced, very basic, very effective zone coverage, right? You could do simple things like you can man the running back up here. And then on the left side, we might want to play a little bit more of a one of my favorite adjustments is actually to man this defensive end up on the tight end and this guy up on the outside guy and actually play like a, a almost like a man to man look. Watch how this plays actually plays really well, right? That defensive end, he can cover in this year's game. So another thing that you can do with this defense is you can send six. So let's say you know that they start, you know, getting too comfortable sending out five, and you just want to send some heavy pressure and know it's going to get there. All you're going to do is you're going to do everything I said. So pinch your defense, show blitz, slant your D line inside. You don't have to show blitz. I just think it's better because it gets those safeties down to the box. Then what I want you to do here is we're going to play man lock on the left side. So we're just going to man this guy up on the solo receiver. On the right side, we can throw that slot corner into a hard flat, and then you're going to stand essentially right in here, basically, and you're just going to try to get this thing to come in. And you see there we get that edge pressure screaming at the quarterback. These are simple, simple, simple setups, but they're very effective, honestly. And you could even run a defense like this. The cool part about this vertical hook is it's so low to the ground, it's going to do a really good job of stopping verticals. I would send four like literally 80% of the time. This send four right here is the best send four in the game. It's the simplest way to do it. 
and it stops the majority of things people are going to want to do online. This is a very good Sin 4. And then every now and then, what I would do with this is I would Sin 5, right? Very, or Sin 5 or Sin, uh, sin 6, just like this. Very simple. Bada bing. And you see, we're able to play really good defense with this. So this is a simple version of the nickel double mug defense. You can do it out of nickel double mug. You can do it out of nickel 2-4 double mug. You can do it out of nickel, um, I can't even remember what the, name of the <laughs> what the name of it is, nickel wide, I think. You can do it out of that formation. You could do it out of a lot of different things, right? But the big, big dip here is this, these blitz angles that you see on your screen. This is what you're looking for, and you can send five, you can send four, or you can send six, and the pressure is so effective. The send four is so, so effective. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this little breakdown of how to get pressure in Madden 25. This is probably the best pressure you're going to find right now, and as you see, it's pretty decent. So thanks for watching. If you want to get the full ebook on this, we really dive into how to use this defense, how to uh, best optimize it and use it against the best offenses in the game. Make sure you're in our score community. That's where you'll get all of our defensive and offensive ebooks for Madden 25. The link to sign up for that is in the description below.